Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part one of Greedfall on the Xbox One X. Let's crack straight into this brand new Let's Play. New game, yes please. Okay, so we've got, uh, well normal's going to be the bog standard. We've got easy, companions are stronger and enemies are weaker and less aggressive in this mode. It is perfect for players who wish to experience the adventure without spending too much time on strategy or crafting. Normal. This mode provides a balanced challenge. You'll have to optimize your skills and equipment, use crafting and plan your battles carefully to finish the game. Hard. Enemies are more numerous, more aggressive, and they inflict more damage. Achieving success in this mode requires you to have a good grasp of the repost system and upgrade your character strategically. Extreme. The enemies are quicker, more numerous, and more lethal than ever. Select this mode if you are looking for the ultimate challenge in the universe. Right, we're going to go with normal. Because <laughs> that's the way my shiz rolls, people. Let's crack in. Oh, I've been looking forward to this game. Come on. Music. Very nice so far. Always a good sign in a game. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There, now, hold the pose. Strike a pose, there's nothing to it, Vogue. <laughs> right. Meanwhile, uh, yeah, okay, I love it. I love it when they do stuff like this with the character creation. Actually build it into a little bit of a scene in the game. They did it with Fallout 4, didn't they? So, we all know that I tend to go for the lady rather than the man in my playthroughs. So let's uh, change to woman. Initially, I thought that was a sideburn there, but it seems to be. It seems to not be. It seems to be some sort of birthmark, magic's mark, some sort of mark anyway. I guess we may find out during the game, perhaps. Right. Female. So we've got a bunch of presets here. It's just, I'll crack through... You can always wind forward if you're not bothered about the customer, the character, character, what am I trying to say? Customization. <laughs> Jesus. So, uh, presets. Well, I think it's probably a choice uh, between her and her, maybe. Yeah, I think we'll go with this one and then just change the hair up a bit. So, we can then change the different aspects of the preset we've taken by the looks of it. Yes. Although we're going to keep the face as it happens. See what hair we've got. You can spin right around the character as well, which is a, that's a great thing, that. Because not, not all character customizations give you, or screens give you this ability to pan all the way around and see what's happening around the back there. That reminds me a bit of the the Order 1886 girl, that haircut. Right, we'll go with that one, I think. And... Seems reasonable. Skin colour's probably fine, I think. Hair colour... Well, I usually go for a bit of an O-burn. Of which I'm not seeing, so... Closest thing is probably that one, maybe. Yeah, interestingly, when you change the colour of the hair, it does change the colour of the eyebrows as well, actually. Very cool. What do you think, people? That one, or... Yeah, we'll go with that one. Okay, eye colour, which is always hard to see sometimes without a zoom button. We do like a nice hazel, people. Well, I do. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a sucker for a brown eye. Right. Hmm. 
Because we all know that, that we're going to see lots of the rise in the game. <laughs> right, that's lovely, that is. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, okay, so top left here, we've got... Oh, okay, here we go. So, we have our starting classes, which look... Well, going by the colours, we're looking at the, the bog standards for RPG, aren't we? Warrior, although that's called technical, it's sort of a rogue by the looks of it then. And then you've got your magic. So, let's run through it. Warrior is... This profile focuses on melee combat. Starting skills, one-handed heavy weapons, one-handed blades and firearms. Recommended attributes are strength and endurance. Recommended talents are craftsmanship and vigor. Technical. This profile focuses on controlling the battlefield. Starting skills. Set an elemental trap. Firearms. One-handed blades. Recommended attributes are accuracy and agility. Yeah, definitely roguey this one, isn't it? Recommended talents are science and lock picking. And on the magics, we have this profile, this profile focuses on the use of offensive spells from a distance. Starting skills, divine magic ring, stasis, one-handed heavy weapons. Recommended attributes are mental power and willpower. And recommended talents are science and intuition. Right, okay, I'm hovering between warrior and technical. Anyone who watches this channel knows that I nearly always go rogue. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. So why change the habit of a lifetime, eh? Let's crack in with rogue. Technical. Okay, so this is our attributes tree. Oh, I see. Okay, it's kept them together. So... What it was recommending in the screen before, so the top two are the warrior, second two are the technical, third two are the mage magics. And it has given us a point to spend, we've got one remaining point up there, so we'll go for, well let's see what they say, agility level 1 increases fury, fury generation and all damage inflicted in melee combat. Well fury must be something you power up then, presumably. Attribute requires uh, attribute required to wield the best one-handed, two-handed swords. Is it so okay? It's agility, right? Okay, and then we get physical damage plus ten percent, fury gen plus one percent, and with the accuracy, we would get increases the power of all firearms and alchemical preparations. Attribute required to wield this the best firearms. Damage plus ten percent, armor damage plus ten percent. Okay, uh, I think I might go for the agility first because it's probably going to help us on the, the dodging, I would think, as well, is it? Maybe, although it doesn't quite... S yeah, okay, we'll do that. So it's just simply in case there's some sort of shortage of bullets at the beginning, but <laughs> I don't know, I can still swing the sword, so we'll go with that first. Agility first, people. And, okay, this is talents. Uh, so we were recommended to do lock picking was one I think. Is it craftsmanship? Recommended talents: science and lock picking. That's quite handy. You can bounce back and forward like that to remind yourself. So I think. We'll go with lock picking. Show what's science doing. Allows you to make simple potions. Allow you allows you to destroy weak walls with the help of explosive files. Hmm. Okay. Let's you pick simple locks. Enemy traps are easier to see. Um. Hmm. Without knowing the game at all, we need to make a judge because it's going to give us an ability almost straight away to do something, isn't it? That lets us pick locks. Without doing it, we can't pick any. That allows us to make simple potions and destroy weak walls. I'm going to do the lock pick. We'll do the lock pick. We'll do the lock pick first. Onward. Do it. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. Oh, well, thank That's you. a compliment, my lady, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We have nearly finished. Mm. 
Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry. I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Yeah. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lady! You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lady, please, I beg you! Her Highness has personally requested I finish it! Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. <laughs> your Highness, goddammit! Oh, who's this? Hello. Madam, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. All right, you are then. Okay. Onward. All right, so we've got our... quest marker on the compass at the top there. Hey! Green blood! And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as I your feel goal. a tutorial coming up. Enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Oh, here we go. Fight with honor! Ah! Oh. On guard! Not too bad. Prove to Kurt you can fight. All right, okay. Easy. Bloody hell. Uh, you have lost health. To assign a potion to a shortcut, use LB to open the tactical pause menu. The tactical pause LB will pause the game and allow you to choose your next action at your leisure. You will be able to access your spell skills and potions to use directly or assign to a shortcut. Using it during combat, you can also learn more about enemies around you. Alright, so we need to heal ourselves, it's a potion. So X is bind. And we'll put it on the left bumper for now. Well, at the bottom, we've got actually got... Ah, oh, we've got two sets of everything. So we can actually assign it to... Ah, right, okay. We can assign it to... The first... There's, there's four bumper buttons and we can use them each twice. Because the trigger will do another set of four for us. I'm going to put healing on the first one. Okay, that should be it, I think. Have it, come on. Easy. Fucking hell, I hit the wrong button. I'm numb nut. Yeah. 
Ooh. Fuck off. Fucking hell. Stop it with the kick in. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> you fed yourself well, Greenblood. Thank you. One might think you had a proper master of arms. The best. You already training for your new post of Leggett? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. Eh, uh, go through combat basics, skip the combat tutorial. Um, well, we should probably see them all, I think. I'd be up for that. A little last minute training couldn't hurt. In that case, Otto here is going to be your training partner. Go! Fight with honour! See it all while we're here. Firearms are ideal for interrupting or destabilizing an enemy. Each shot consumes one ammunition. Okay. Oh, oh techniques. Firearm, here we go. Bind. Uh, think. What's going to feel most natural for a pistol shot? Um, I think I might use it on a trigger. Oh, not allowed for some reason. Oh yeah, I can. Uh, maybe Y on the the main pad over on the right hand side then. Should we do that? Oh, won't let me. Press an assignable shortcut. I thought that's what I did do. Uh, <laughs> hello? Well, if for some reason it's only letting me use the D-pad for the firearms, even though at the top it's telling me that I'm allowed to use right trigger and A, X, or Y. Ah, right, okay, it's done it that time. How strange. Right, maybe it was me. Should we blame the game or blame me? Well, let's blame me, eh? Put the kid in charge. Right, we're good to go, I think. Whoa. Okay, what's happening? <laughs> I'm hitting RT and Y, and she's doing a kick for some reason. Use the shortcut you assigned, or LB tactical pause. RT and Y, that's what I'm using. Yeah, for some reason, when I hit RT, it's not bringing up that set of buttons that I've assigned it to. So, I don't know why. Look, uh, well, that's a bit strange. Don't know what's going on there. Yeah, it's definitely not working, that. Use the shortcut you assigned, or LB, tactical pause, techniques menu. Right, I tell you what, let's just assign it to a different button for now. That's annoying, though, because it's not particularly comfortable to go to the D-pad every time I want to do a... Like, when I go into this menu at the minute, it's not doing anything. With, our, with the right trigger at all. Yeah, it works from the D-pad. The physical armor level is shown with shields on the health bar. Armor absorbs part of the physical damage. To break an enemy's armor, you can use an impact weapon or certain traps. Magic attacks ignore armor. Okay. Break through your opponent's armor. Bastard. 
Fucker. How can he get so many bloody hits so quickly? He's done. Bastard. Woo! I rock. Fury is a state that allows you to use special attacks that inflict bonus damage and make enemies lose their balance. A segme uh, segmented meter that builds up as you attack an enemy, cast a spell or parry attacks from enemies will allow you to see your fury level. When the meter reaches the first level, a visual effect will appear on your character's hands. Oh, that's quite cool, isn't it? Rather than have, uh, have a another thing on screen, it flickers the hands of the character. Press LT to use fury attack. Okay, I don't seem to have any. Uh... Oh, you can. Oh, it's over, is it? All right. It appears <laughs> we've brushed up on the basics. It does, and I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we. Yes, we have. Lots Indeed. To do. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? <clears throat> yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. Uh, show him how happy you are that he's coming along. Complain about being shadowed by a bodyguard. On the contrary, I am thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Don't tell me the old school teacher is competing against me. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for a celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Meet Kurt in front of the palace. Right, okay. So let's have a quick look at our, I'm assuming it's the back button, which isn't called the back button anymore, but you know what I mean. Ah, that's our inventory. Alright, we've got an old rusted sabre as well. Physical damage is, well, it's less. Armour damage is higher though. It's quite good, isn't it? So you've got a balance between physical damage and armour damage. I think I'm most definitely going to go down the one-handed sword route. Not a massive stiletto fan. Item already equipped. What? It's not true, though, is it? Because I'm quite clearly holding that. Item already equipped. So, what? <laughs> Why have I got... That makes no sense. What? I'm highly confused, people, as to... Oh, wait a minute. Right, so that... I see. So that's actually in... Melee weapon B. Ah, right, okay. So how do we activate that then? 
It didn't actually explain that, did it? Or is it like a weapon set where you can bounce between the two? Right, okay, we'll have to figure that out as we go along. That's, uh... Because it's not left hand, right hand. It's actually a B option of a weapon. I bet you can switch between them. Right, okay. And then we've got our torso and gloves and blah. There's our gun down there. Can, uh, we've got a bag. We've got a bag that contains your consumables and other items. Nothing on our head at the minute. A map. Marvelous. Oh, did not mean to do that. And there. Ooh, there's a skill tree. Ah, right. Okay. So we're going to be at the bottom left of all of that, going by our original plant. And that's our general stats for everything. Ooh, nice. Ooh, I love it. I love it when they do a nice map, people. How gorgeous is that? Keep it a marker? Oh, no, well, you wouldn't want to, would you, on a world map, I don't suppose. Right, onward. Let us crack on. Do we have a save button? Yes, we do. Right, let's follow the compass up at the top there, then. I like the fact that she feels weighty when she's running. Makes her feel more realistic. I've put this off as Not long that as way. I can. I need to make my farewells to my mother. Hello, this? Mama. Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort to know my daughter has left on a mission to heal her people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it, and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. <laughs> she is not in a good way. Go and say goodbye to Mother Dunn. Oh, hello. We've got a nice sexy heart. Thank you. You can run faster using sprint. Oh, nice. Wow, how gorgeous is that? Put a lot of effort into the surroundings here. Looks fantastic. Panning nicely as well. Kurt. It's done. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You were right. 
Maybe he is already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Sure. Where is the supplier located? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Right, so we're off to the lower boroughs. Oh, nice, okay, so... Oh, right, so it looks like we'll have options of different people to put on our team setup, which is quite cool. So, Kurt's the only option at the minute. And, oh, you get his stats on the right-hand side as well. If you hit Y, you get characteristics. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet. Oh, no, that's my characteristics, isn't it? Yeah, when I jump to that, it seems to re revert to me. Let's go back. Right, let's add Kurt. And confirm. Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it is certainly worthy of inspection. Okay, right, so let's just double check our quest things going on here. Uh, we're going to have... Well, we've got... Alright, okay, so side quests are actually splintered off, which is quite cool. So we're currently following our main one, so we could do coin guard merchandise first. It tell us on the local map as to where... Oh, it does, actually. Yeah, look. So that's... Yeah, so we're up there, and there's the Thalem Embassy, and there's Bridge Alliance, and there's Vendor. Right, okay, so we're actually better doing our main quest ones first, as it happens. So, can we assign it from here? No, but we can display it in the journal. Okay, cool. Nice and simple. Simplest. Looks like it's going to be quite a big area to wonder about this, actually. Is this... Oh, that's... Kurt. I'm curious as to how much... Oh, hello. How much looting and stuff there'll be to do in the... Different areas. Oh, hello. Torn out diary page. Which we won't read, but we've picked up uh, an item. Prince's place. God blimey, it's a good looking game. Great. Oh, hello. <laughs> Too busy looking at the scenery, actually walking into pillars. Greetings, Your Excellency. Aha, here's one.
Good day to you, sir. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is taking office as governor of New Serene. And I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. Oh, well, thank you. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. I'll take care of the charlatan. Okay, so we can right-click the minute we get a quest and it will reassign it. Which we won't do at the minute. We'll do this other one first, I think. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady de Sade. Okay, so that was the Bridge Alliance Embassy done. So, quick check of the map. Well, find the charlatan is quite close as it happens. Negotiate with the vendor. All oh, right, okay. Well, they're both quite close as it happens. However, the other door's over here. Cardinal Antonius. Good day, Excellency. Lady de Sade. To what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfredi on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. Legate? I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help yeah, here we go. the delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. 
heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that, but I'm sure that my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The Prince would indeed give us his blessing, but it would take time, far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You were hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. And you, sir. Right, so that was the Thalem Embassy done. I like that we're going in and out of buildings without massive loading screens. That's very nice. So, if we try and do them in order of where they appear on the map, there's loads of question marks down here. It's awesome. Negotiate with the vendor and find the charlatan. So, let's do the vendor first then. Ah, that is our main quest then, is it? No, that's present yourself to Captain Vasco. That's not what we're after. Okay. God, Owls. The merchant is there. Nice. Little waterways. Good day, my lady. How might I be of service? You can Wait. start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honour that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? I don't think you understand who you were dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lady de Sardé, niece of the Prince d'Orsay, and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable, especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion and theft. You know as well as I that the Congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That's a shame. Well. As orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay, unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I beg your pardon, milady, but you are not my master. Moreover, the attendant of the guard was quite specific, saying this affair should be handled with extreme discretion. 
So I seriously doubt that you'll be wanting to drag us in front of a judge. That would stir up the muck. Whatever is he talking about, Kurt? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Stop for giving in this guy, is he? This is preposterous. Your master is a thief. And I have no patience for bandits and robbers. Either you give us back what's ours, or we'll take it. Your idea of diplomacy isn't all that different from my own. Now to the devil with you. Since you leave us no choice. The merchant's clerk isn't hearing your arguments. The only thing nope. left is a show of strength. Sorry, Greg. The only thing left is to no, batter no, the shite out of them, I think. You'll <laughs> think you'll find. If I can find a way around to them, that is. Oh, hello. Got me special move and everything. Oh, that was over quick. I beg of you. He seems to have grown wiser all of a sudden. Yes, yes. Don't hear me anymore. Very well. I'm counting on you to deliver this merchandise as quickly as possible. Yes, my lady. I'll take care of it immediately. You could have saved yourself a whole load of pain. Oh, hello. Loot, loot. What? With my reputation damaged there? God's sakes. Ooh, old leather cape. Might have to look at our inventory after this. Old blunt foil. Hmm. Anything else? Yeah. The gold coins are clocking up, people. Oh, ladder. Ooh, loot. Gold coins, alchemical mix of magic damage. Who doesn't want that? Ammo, barrage. Oh, there's a big shiny chest down there. That we can't get to. Mm, doesn't seem to be a slide down the ladder button. Oh. Ah. Destroy. Level 1 science and alchemical preparation of elemental damage. Right. So we do want to get the science it's at some point. Just now. Would have got us a chest to have gone down that route. Well, I think you need a file as well, to be fair. What do we get in our inventory? So that one's better at stun. This one's better at fury gen. Attack cost furious. Physical damage seems to be less. But the thing is though, why is that one blue and that one green? It's better quality. Oh, it's better armor damage on this sword. So, okay, hang on. Let me put that one back on for a sec. Oh, no. oh no, that's that one, isn't it? Let's put that one back on for a sec. And let's swap that. Uh... Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Because that automatically went on to B. Ah, oh, because it was on B, that's why. Right, okay. So if I change my 145 against 7, no, it's actually my, <laughs> my dagger's better in every way, pretty much. I need to try and figure out how to change those, I didn't look at me jacket, I need to try and figure out how to use weapon A, weapon B.
Choose one of ten weapons or armor slots. Select the equipment you wish to use and confirm with A. Use left and right on the D-pad to access your companion's equipment. That's fine. Different weapons can be assigned to two, two different slots. In combat, you can alternate between the two equipped weapons by RRB. There we go. Lovely. Finally, activate the advanced display with X to visualize in detail the effects of your equipment on your characteristics. Okay, so I'll be it is then. Ooh. Well, that's better in every way, apart from it doesn't look quite as sexy. Sexy! Everything about yourself is sexy. Right, that'll probably do for now, I think. Marvellous. Have a quick save, shall we? The saving's quite quick as well, which I like. Quick save button, though. Come on. Come on, people. Quick save buttons. <laughs> nice. The jacket kind of flows about, doesn't it, when she's running? I like it. Actually, Steve, you're running aimlessly. Where are you going? So we're going to head to there. That's Captain Vasco. Present yourself to Captain Vasco. We've still got the charlatan to deal with though. And we've still got coin guard. Inform the coin guard barracks quartermaster. Alright, okay. Let's go up here first then. Let's do it in the right order people. Oh, mind you, there's the guy there. Just going to speak to him. But I still don't see Constantine at your side. No. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. Don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? What will be your official title on Tier 3D? Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? Come now, don't be ridiculous. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor. Nothing more. But His Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. I am therefore required to take note of all events, uh, chart the island and its resources, but also obtain as much knowledge as possible concerning the more dangerous creatures of the island. Your help will be extremely valuable to me. I've no longer the legs of an adventurer. <laughs> it's always a privilege to help, Master. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. Okay, right, onward to the charlatan. God, the right stick is so sensitive, it's ridiculous. I wonder if you can turn that down. Did I see glowing things in this corner? I did, look. <laughs> Coins, magic potion, poison... Ooh, poisoned alchemical mix, thank you. And ammo, nice. Not a bad little loot fest. Yeah, I'm starting to think it's worth having a little look around the corners here, people. I think I'm running past stuff. Something, yeah, here we go. Beast Essence, Iron Ore, Hawthorne. Poorly written notice. To the family of the rich man who provoked us, we have him and we will kill him if you don't pay us handsomely. Come with a full purse to the alley south of the old warehouse district. Um, I wonder if that's Constantine. Hmm. To my oh, hello. Bloody hell, fire. And death to the others! <laughs> Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Oh, fucking hell. He's got a gun as well. 
So you can play that game, mate. Nice. Whew. Did not expect him to have a gun there, people. Gold ammo, lovely. Nine gold coins. Nightshade berries. Old rusty rapier. Actually seems quite good in its damage and stuff, that. Let's have a look. It is as well. Might be worth changing over to that. That's 1457. That's 169, yeah. And then in hand B, mind you, in hand B we could put the stiletto. One forty and nine. Yeah. Might well. It doesn't matter, does it? It's only a secondary weapon. Do that for now. Uh, shall I heal? A bandit's hat? What does that look like? Hmm. <laughs> Not bad, right enough. I think I prefer that one, though, do you? I think that's what Kurt's wearing, isn't it? Oh, mind you, is there any protection on it? Well, there's not on the bandit's hat. There is an hours. So there's no point in that. Yeah, there's no... Uh, I'm noticing there's no trash sort of, like, stick it in the trashes for when selling at a vendor sort of thing. That I can see, anyway. We've got drop and equip, but not... Uh, stick it in junk, if you know what I mean. Just gonna have a quick look at the settings to see if there's any way of taming down that right stick. <sighs> Camera sensitivity, there we go. Ah, that's better, that's better. Thank you. Much better. Much better. Right, now we're cooking, people. It could be on the PS4 controller that you don't need to take that down because the sticks are shorter, but... On this one, God say, I was all over the shop. Am I back at the same place? I am as well. Good, yeah, that closed quick. All right, let's head toward our market. We're reaching an hour already, what? We'll have a nice extended episode here, shall we? I always like to do a nice extended one on the first one. I'm loving this game, by the way. It's absolutely brilliant. Haven't spotted anything I don't like, apart from the fact there's no junk button. Hello, can I climb that wall? What? Come on now, that's awesome. Thank you. Aha! There's the guy. Looks of it. Let's go see what he's saying. But what? Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. 
This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little vial is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. The speech is well polished. I even feel like... Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Ask for a demonstration. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I'm in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. <laughs> Come on now. I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. See if we go around the back here, is it? Could probably have done with a stave before we go doing it. <laughs> <laughs> they get through, Stephen. To my help, and death to the others. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Have a bit of that action, eh? Huh? I love this battle system. I really do. Old leather cape. I wonder if it's different to the one we're wearing. That's the file. So we'll pick that up last. <gasps> Shiny. Letter from the innkeeper to the servant. The weird alchemist of the Alliance who rented a room upstairs specifically asked us not to clean it during his stay. This old fool must not want us to accidentally break his vial or something. So leave him in his filth. The customer is always right. Reinforced. Oh, gloves. Not had gloves yet. I think she might just have put them on straight away, actually. So it looks like she equips if she's not got something, which is good. Auto equips, I should say. Yep, looks like. Uh... Oh, we already had gloves on, that's why. Oh, they're quite smart, aren't they? And a lot better than what we've got on. Yeah, what was the other jacket like? 
So we're wearing the old leather cape. Exactly the same. Same stats and all. There you go. That's B in use, look. RB, I should say. And if you hold RB, they'll put the weapons away. Uh, I love that. See, it winds me up in, in RPGs when I'm not allowed to put my own weapon away and take it out. Brilliant. I love it. Our chemical research book. These pages are covered in small, almost illegible writing. Experiment results, patient observations, and incomprehensible symbols. But the complexity of some recipes leaves no room for doubt. The author was a true alchem alchemist and was certainly very knowledgeable. Right. We've got everything we need. Let's pick this up. Back to see him again. Right, there is a little auto save going on when I go through certain doors, I notice, so that's good. A little backup. Have you finally <laughs> made up your mind? Show him the remedy is selling. I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it? You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief? Come now. You can see for yourself that I am gladly returning your vial, so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I, you don't have the right. Damnation, he got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. That is true. Are we still on that quest to take it? Yeah, it looks like it. Find the charlatan. What a good game this is. I'm really, really enjoying it, people. Really enjoying it. It's got my kind of RPG written all over it. Oh, hello. There's a bit of a crowd out here. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Use workbench. The crafting table. Craftsmanship allows you to upgrade your weapons and armor. Science allows you to create potions and traps. So we want science, don't we? Uh, well, we want both then, don't we? Craftsmanship allows you to upgrade your weapons and armor. What? Yeah, we're going to have to delve into a few things we thought we wouldn't. You need knowledge to be able to use the crafting table to obtain it. Spend points in the deserved talent, in the desired talent, sorry. Use certain pieces of equipment and companions that give you a bonus. Each talent point will unlock new recipes. You will also need ingredients, all one word, <laughs> uh, which you can buy or find while exploring. On guard. Uh, I'm assuming I can't do any of this checks. Don't have any points. Uh, we hit upgrade on that, say. Select. Yeah, there we go. Can't do anything. Craft level. Don't have a craft level. Ooh, some nice shiz in here, people. What? Right, craftsmanship's getting done. Without any shadow of a doubt. What's going on over here? Hello? Uh, well, it's telling us to go up. Is there a set of stairs? <gasps> oh, hello. Gold coins, what? Seven of them. Are there any more? Allow me to take that from you. No, thank you. <laughs> 14 gold coins off the counter. 
Oh, that's down. There's another level to the tavern. What? Oh, hello, gold coins. Better than a bank, this place. 21 gold coins just from wandering around the perp. They're too drunk to know what they're doing with the money, people. Ooh, blimey. Looks a bit rough in here. No, it's just pillows and stuff, isn't it? Up, up. Easy. What a difference, though, taking down that sensitivity's made. Oh, hello. Coins, metal dowels. Oh, hello, yeah. Crude iron ore. Crafting materials. Got ya. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that's found you. Have you seen the mob that's gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce. And he's the one who sent me. Sahin. Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad. Ask him about Sahin's obsession. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I wasn't fortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy. To criticize their methodology. I saw them. Inflicting torture on sick prisoners. Making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use as experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice. But it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. Yeah, we picked one up. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps. But you are hurting innocence. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, my lady? Ooh. Help him leave the city, arrest him. Uh, ah, he seems all right, doesn't he? I think he's just trying to do good. I'm going to help you leave the city. But you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Uh, 
angry crowd, is it? Not overly sure, but are we going to have... Well, I haven't seen a level up yet. Well, it's top right, isn't it? So we're not far away from a level up. I haven't actually been paying attention as to what we've been getting level ups for. I know fights, obviously, but... Some of the quests as well, perhaps. A letter from an al alchemist from Al-Sad. I'm genuinely sorry to hear that you have not found the peace you were looking for, you were hoping for in Serene. Since your departure from the Academy, the situation has been deplorable. Those you had accused are now behaving as if the rules did not apply to them, regularly performing questionable experiments, and there is nothing the rest of us can do apart from keeping a low profile. I sincerely hope that you will eventually find some place where you can be at peace, your friend. So he does seem like he's quite a nice bloke, doesn't he? Just trying to get by. Right. Oh, hello. Is any coins in here? Something in here. Ooh, keys. Innkeeper storeroom keys. What? Oh, need lock. Oh, we've got lock picking. Nice. Coins, magic potion, dragon blood resin. Hello. Soft old boots. And a worn tricorn, which uh, seems to be not be as good as what we're wearing. Um, I need to think, though. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to equip more than one member in the party. But anyway, that is an assumption at this point in the game. Is this something here? No. Story must be somewhere else then, unless that was it, but... Didn't look like a storeroom. Oh! <laughs> they appeared uh, out of nowhere. Bet there's a storeroom back here. The servant's door. The lock's double bolted. Ooh, I say. Gold coins, innkeeper's key. This opens... This key opens the service door of the tavern. Nice, at the back. Metal dowels and crude iron ore. Key to the tavern. It's a good job we found that, because we didn't have level two. We need to get him out of here as fast as we can. So we're going to take him out the back and not do the crowd then. So, did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? Yes, I need to get you out of here. I have unlocked the service entrance. You will be able to sneak out of there discreetly. Without being skinned alive by the mob? You need to remain prudent. I will escort you to your cart. I follow you. Oh, God. Let's sneak out the back. <laughs> I don't run into any unhappy patients. Got to remember where the hell I went there now. I'm right, pretty sure it's this one. Where am I heading to? Over there. Okay, let's just have a quick save in case something goes really wrong here. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Can't open that. But where the hell am I meant to go then? Uh, come on now. <laughs> Where am I going? Is there this gate here, maybe? Ah, here we go, here we go. Angry customers. And we have no choice but to go this way. Oh, hello.
Oh, somebody's getting bought over here. Kurt's getting. Things are about to get dicey. Ooh, level two. Thank you. Very exciting. It's quite clever. It's giving you little hints. It's like, oh, do we really want to go that way? Because that's where they are, isn't it? You know, he's just saying stuff to make you go the right way. I am so addicted to this already. Uh, this way. Oh, there he is. And death to the others! Easy, I know, yeah. I feel like Kurt went down there. Where is he? Oh, he's there. That's all right. Maybe it was the other guy that fell over. Well, that's where Kurt ended up then. I love the little boxes all tucked away and you can just see them sh glint in your eye as you're walking past stuff. Yeah, this is where we're taking him to, innit? Back of here. Marvellous. I owe you my life. How can I ever thank you? Just do us the favor of never coming back. And stop this deceitful commerce. Have no worries about that. I'm not going to forget this lesson anytime soon. Move along now. Get out of here while there's still time. Would you accept this as a token of my gratitude? Aye. Farewell, my lady. Whatever it is. Escort Charlatan. Uh, go... What's he giving me? Not overly sure what you handed me there. Right, so let's have a look at our inventory. All right, so they're actually the bottom ones are actually better than what we're wearing because they've got elemental resistance on them. I'm assuming that's what it means. Those have got a uh, plus four percent elemental resistance, but they've got a less armor. Put the bottom ones on. They do. They they are actually. Oh, they're comfortable boots. Yeah. So the different types of boots do have a different look and feel, which is nice. Hate it when you put something on; it looks exactly the same. Ah. Oh. I'm always, I'm always a bit soft on a tricorn. I do love a tricorn. Or a trisorn or a whatever the hell they're meant to be called. Well, again, that one seems to be... I see. So it's 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 basically a grey or a, a, a white, I suppose you want to call it. If it's not got any elements to it, uh, that's green because it's got... 
poison resistance and loot chance. Oh, ten percent loot chance have that. That's going on. So what you get from a pirate out, people? I suspect this guy's probably giving us a oh, do that every time. Maybe gave us some sort of herb. Oh, charlatan's antidote, there you go. This mixture is supposed to be a panacea curing all evils except the mal malachor. Oh no, we picked that up, didn't we? Never mind. Oh, I see. Right, let's have a look at our level up point. Oh, nice. So, yeah, we put one point there, didn't we? Attacking with one-handed blades deals more damage. Well, it's tempting. Because the firearm's always going to be kind of a secondary stun weapon, isn't it? Allows the use of pistols. I must have that already, though. So that means I could have firearms deal more damage. 20% more damage on a firearm. No. You see, it's making it difficult for me to pick. Traps, apparently ours as well. So we've got three elements already we want to be going into. We don't want divine magics. Yeah, well, actually, that... Yeah, see, that's going to take me up the warrior tree, that. One-handed blades. All right. I see. So they kind of connect here, look. So certain parts of the warrior tree are kind of touching on this. And likewise here. I quite like that. quite like the way they've done it. It did say that traps are something we should use, though. Traps that explode. Then we'll come back to that. Uh, let's get our melee damage up, shall we? what we're using most. Acquire this sharp steel, yes please. <laughs> 10 G's in the footsteps of the masters. Unlock a new skill. Okay, attributes. Oh. So we get an attribute and a talent every time? Looks Well, we do at the minute. So, uh, oh. No, we don't. Oh, well, that's a bit concerning. <laughs> so I get one point and I have to put it in one of them. I see. Right, okay, we're going to have to think that through next time then. Well, it's kept it simple right enough. You get a point and you can spend it in any of the three. I mean, I suppose if they made it any more than that, you'd <laughs> you'd be filling it up in no time, wouldn't you? So, fair enough, I think we can say to that. Right, well, we've got our next quest to crack on with. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, where's the charlatan? Go and inform... All oh, right, we've got to inform the... So let's go and inform the Alliance Ambassador that that's dealt with then, shall we? That's, that's a dead end. This way. Oh, go directly back to the Bridge Alliance Embassy. Stay here. Oh, nice. So we can actually go. Oh, that's quite cool, isn't it? Saves you running all the way back. Just takes you straight there to hand in your quest. Love. Oh, that's brilliant. Good job. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. Speak about the charlatan. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally! Did you capture him? Let's just say that I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. Ooh, reputation plus one. With the Bridge Alliance. Cover the escape of the alchemist. Confront him on his lie. Um, is that going to take down my reputation, though? Why should I deliver him to you? 
You deliberately hid the truth about him from me. What? Might I remind you that you're in audience with the Ambassador of the Bridge Alliance? And you to a legate of the Congregation of Merchants. That you treat like an imbecile. This man is indeed an alchemist of the bridge. And he told me much about your disagreement of opinion. And of course you sided with him. Certainly not. I have no part to play in your quarrels. I just chased him from our city. Now, if you are still intent on placing him in irons, you need to capture him on your own lands. How embarrassing. I should have shown more honesty in your regard. Please accept my excuses. And this modest gift for the voyage that awaits you. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Oh, a thousand XP. Love it. Right, that's how we get our XP clocked up. Jesus, we're nearly level three straight away. <laughs> and we did we got minus two reputation there as well, which was really annoying. We got a what a plus one and then a minus two. Right, well I think we should definitely save it there. Right, well, we have hit the hour and a half mark there, folks. I think that's probably an ideal place to wrap things up. We'll get... Uh, I'm going to be doing so much more of this game, people. I love this game. I can't begin to tell you how much... I don't know how fun that was to watch, but it is... It's a delight to play. It's really... The battle system is really fun, really easy to pick up once you start assigning your little bits here and there. And we're only just scratching the surface of it all. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. What a great job they've done with it. I mean, just those little things like, um, you know... That, fe that quest's finished, and when you walk out, it goes, oh, do you want to just teleport straight back and hand it in, or do you want to just stay here, and then you can wander about? That stuff is just awesome when you're playing an RPG. Because if you've got nothing else to do miles away from where you're meant to be at, you don't have to go combing the streets to find back where you were. So all those little things are absolutely brilliant. And it's a beautiful world, a great battle system, the voice acting is brilliant, the um, the music's fantastic, the whole ambience of the game's great, and we've not even got to the main place yet. I mean, this is like there's going to be a there's a ton of quests here already by the looks of it to get you used to how it all works, uh, and and then obviously the the main stuff's going to happen on the island when we sail off to the island. I assume. Don't know how much of the game is in this city, but I don't mind spending more time here. It's great. Anyway, there you are. There will be lots more of this coming. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in this brand new Let's Play of Greedfall on the Xbox One X. And I shall catch you in part two, folks. Take it easy. Bye.